Uh, right now, though, time to meet our Dorset Lives guest this morning, a brand new guest, a brand new uh, Dorset's resident, actually, a green-fingered fellow, Mark Bobin, the new head gardener at Minton Gardens, at Minton House, just sort of north of Cern Abbas, I guess you'd say. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Very good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Um, where should we start? Let's start with Minton Gardens, because it's an impressive setup. I've seen it myself yeah. there, and historic gardens. Just tell me a bit about um, about what it's like as a garden. Yeah, sure. It's, it's a Himalayan-inspired garden. So, uh, to be honest with you, it's like being transported into the Himalayas as you walk around the plants mm. are all amongst, all amongst you. Um, and it's, it's, it's a real wild sort of uh, woodland garden. And genuinely stuff that has been collected by explorers in the 19th century, some yeah, of Yeah, that's right. Victorians went and, and collected these plants, collected the seeds, and they've been grown uh, at Minton and are still surviving. There was a, there was a, uh, a tradition of this kind of thing happening. If you wanted to have the, the kind of most impressive gardens, you would go away and find the most impressive plants? Yes, that's right. There's uh, explorers, uh, uh, many, many explorers in the 19th century starting from the 1850s um all exploring you know the himalayas collecting these seeds bring them back and, and and growing the seeds right and what about what about you then so the new head gardener there you've literally been there three weeks yeah that's right where yep. have you come from so i've come from Tewton Glen hotel which is in a new forest yeah. um so i've been there for for, for three years and yeah it's, uh, Sort of absolutely variety of, of gardening there. Very fancy hotel. I imagine quite manicured gardens. Yeah, the, yeah that's right. Very yeah. sort of precise. Uh, Minton, I'm guessing, presents new and different challenges. Yeah, that's right. I have I have been at High Beaches Gardens before that, was, which, again, was a woodland garden. And that's over in Sussex. And that's in Sussex, right. that's right. So uh, that's that's where I can put my, my, you know, my expertise into practice here. And what's quite cute as well is that you effectively grew up around gardens like the one at Minton. Yeah, that's right. My, my both parents uh, are gardeners. Uh, my dad's uh, was at the National Trust, uh, Sheffield Park, right. where there's a very a, a, a rhododendron garden, these lakes, you know, woodland garden. So I have grown up in this this atmosphere. Um, and as, as a young boy, you know, I was, I was out on, on a tractor or, or, or gardening. Really? <laughs> yeah. How cute. Tools, yeah. You've done well then. So my, my dad was a car mechanic. My granddad was a car mechanic. Oh, okay. And I always wonder if by, you know, changing tack completely and coming into this line of quote unquote work where the dad's <laughs> just sat there going what went wrong you followed your father into the gardening trend so uh what 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 do you do as a, as a as a new head gardener at a place like this and as i say minton is absolutely lovely it's open to the public uh, as of next month um and we'll come to that in a bit but uh do you go into this thinking right my role here is to caretake to maintain these gardens that have been here for a couple of hundred years yeah, or right. do you think right here we go i'm going to rip this up <laughs> oh, and no. change it all into a capability brand kind of style throughout what, oh, what's your what's your approach to it? it is the start off will be caretaking we will move plants around uh plants will die we'll have to replace uh there will be pockets that will open up um new sort of uh additives you know sort of uh, things that we may, may want to put in mm. to enhance the garden, but to keep uh, the exact, you know, um, you know how it wants to be, how it is at the moment, we'll keep that exactly exactly right. And are they challenging these plants? We're we talking about things like rhododendrons here. Yeah, that's right. Rhododendrons, azaleas, magnolias, uh, rare trees. Uh, some are very fussy, in right. fact. So, yeah, um, the whole thing in the garden, you really need to keep a windbreak. You need to keep the... the the atmosphere right for these gar mm. these plants or they they just uh, they won't like it at all are they doing all right in the moment because we've had mm. warmth in december we've had rain yeah. had a couple of cold days they presumably don't know which way's up at the moment they don't know there's a lot of roadies that have come out uh the one the earlier flowering ones uh, have come out you know when as early as possible for them there's one uh rhododendron califitum which is out at the moment which is absolutely stunning um, it's probably at the start of where it should be coming out. Mm. Um, you know, it depends on the year. It really does. Well, look, as I say, the garden's open to the public uh, as of the 13th of February. And they're open, I think, every day until the 9th of November. Yeah, that's right. Uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's £5 to get in if you're a grown-up. I think it's free to kids up to the age of 12. And just finally, Mark, what about working up there? I, I, I looked at the house as a wedding venue uh, yeah. about 18 months ago. There must be moments where you just stop and look around and go, this isn't bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's quite a few moments, actually. I <laughs> have to stop and have a look, you know, especially when the sun's beaming yeah. on the house. It's just lovely. 
Well, look, it's uh, it's very nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. You're welcome. Thank uh, you. New Dorset Lives guest, uh, new head gardener at Minton Gardens, Mark Bobin, live with us in the studio this Friday morning.